Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we will see how to override default HDFS properties. So in order to override, we have to use the command line operator. So I already logged into the node one. So now we have to go to the HDFS site.xml properties file. So if you remember, the property file reset at the location called as etc Hadoop and then conf we can do lsr here and we can see hdfs site which is one of the important properties file available here if we do the command more and this hdfs hyphen site dot xml you will be able to see the file now the property lies dfs block size if you want to see that dfs block size it is 13421728 that is nothing but 128 byte so that is the size which is defined for this current Hadoop environment now if you want to override this size what we can do so let's try to do overriding of this file let's okay uh, now we have the current location what I'll do I will go to the root level and I will use the command hdfs dfs minus d dfs dot block size equal to 1000 or 1 million minus put then the root data test underscore data test data let's see what happened if you see the if there is a one message and message is the specified block size is less than configured minimum value so if you the value for this dfs name node fs limit minimum block size is 104 8576 and the value given is less than that value so how can we override this value so in order to override there is one we have to provide the value more than 104 so I can provide like that hdfs dfs minus t dfs block size equal to 105 and suppose I give then 000 and let's try this time this time also it should get failed and you can see uh, it's saying the parameters are different it should be syntactical syntax error okay so along with that we need to put some more part like we have to give the action that is put action then the root data test data and test data that is the command this command will also give the error it says invalid value dfs byte per check some 512 means minimum you have to provide multiple of this 512 the any random value will not be allowed now if i provide the exact value such as hdfs dfs minus t dfs dot block size equal to 104 9088 minus put so I have added like 512 multi in that multiple count root data test data test data so this time it should work so now we can see the command is successfully exit so that means the command 
successfully have completed as a block size 1049088 bytes is exactly minimum required block size plus an additional 512 bytes so we actually override the default value for the hdfs properties file similarly you can override the default value in the other files also or other properties also i hope this short session will definitely help you to understand how to override the default values so first thing you have to remember what are the minimum values it has and what is the structure like in what frequency and by what amount we need to increase the default value thank you for watching the video you can subscribe my channel to have or to get the more update about the hadoop videos thank you and have a nice time